Anita Evans here for Video Language Network, the unique website for authentic English video lessons. Here at Video Language Network, we believe that improving your English begins by watching and listening to English as it is spoken in the real world. Let's begin our lesson by watching and listening to what Andy, an American who lives in Geneva, has to say about the influence of yoga on her life. Are you ready? Let's watch. Hi, Anita Evans here in Switzerland. Today, we're meeting with Andy Hagen, an American expat who has lived in many different countries in Europe. Andy is also a yoga teacher here in Geneva. Hi Andy, and thanks for taking the time to speak with us today. Hi Anita, well it's my pleasure. Tell us how you started yoga. Well, I started yoga when I was living in New York City when I was still working full time. And I would go at lunchtime. Um, and I just found that it was a way to relax mentally, physically, but also a chance to become strong, become flexible, and have a cardio workout. So it was doing a lot of things for me at one time. Do you think that yoga has been a constant that has helped you adapt to living abroad? Yoga has definitely helped me over the years. It's given me a routine, a structure, and a practice that I can do wherever I live. And it's also been a way of meeting people. So, how did it go? If you found the interview a challenge to understand, don't worry. This is normal. Let's continue. What is an adverb? An adverb is a word which describes or gives more information about a verb. In English, we can often identify an adverb by the ending L-Y. Andy says yoga was a way to relax mentally and physically. Here, the adverbs mentally and physically Describe the verb relax. Mentally refers to the mind and physically refers to the body. I asked Andy if yoga has been a constant that has helped her adapt to living in Europe. Let's look at the noun constant. A constant is something that doesn't change over time. Here's an example. Wherever I live, music will always be a constant in my life. The noun constant is also an adjective. For example, we kept a fairly constant speed on the highway, or the fridge keeps food at a constant temperature. If you add ly to the word constant, you make the adverb constantly, which means all the time or very frequently. For example, she constantly changes her mind, or he has the television on constantly. Let's look at two more vocabulary words that Andy uses in the interview segment. They are the nouns routine and structure. A routine is a set of activities or a way of doing things. For example, jogging in the evening is part of my daily routine. A structure, as Andy means it, is an organized method of working, thinking, or behaving. For example, jogging every day gives structure to my week. We hope you have enjoyed today's mini lesson from Video Language Network. For more free lessons like this one, plus our super expanded version, 
join us at our website at www.videolanguagenetwork.com. At our website, you can also download transcripts, vocabulary aids, and exercises that will help you improve your English language skills. Well, that's all for now. Look for us next time on your local podcast sites. This is Anita Evans for Video Language Network.